Hello everyone. Welcome to this video in our time speed and distance series. In this video we're going to talk about a set of problems that are based on the trains. This video is brought to you by Learning Medizy team, a team of IIM grads in association with our e-learning partner GT Cube get to the top. If you are watching this video in the YouTube channel, do check out our full length courses available for free at gtcube.com/store where you'll get to watch these videos as part of the course and also get to practice hundreds of questions on these concepts that would really help you to understand the concepts much better so let's get started so we generally get to see these questions on trains that there's a train a and b or maybe just one train crossing a pole a person or both the trains crossing each other so let's talk about what they mean by that in this question the biggest clue you'll get is basically the length of the train we might see some questions in time speed and distance where the lengths are not talked about the length of the trains are not talked about so the length of the trains are not talked about are basically when i say not talked or talked about is either they should be giving you the piece of information in the question itself or they should be asking us to calculate the length of the train if they are not talking about this they are basically counting the train as a point object I, that's a normal speed time distance uh, you know time speed and distance basic question which we already discussed in this special category we'll get to see the length of the train also being considered and that would be actually a part of the distance that the train travels so let's talk about this there are two scenarios a train a length l going at a speed s i right, let me write it as length of train a and speed of train a and there's one more train that's actually you know let me call this as train b so that's length b and sb let's assume that both the trains are traveling in the same direction so the initial condition is assumed to be this you'll get to see that train a crossed train b when they say this what do they mean by this line is this the initial condition is this the starting point of the train a whichever the train that crossed the other train is matching with the ending the tail of the another train b now the final state when the train a has completely crossed b would be this b would be this that is and a would be here now if you see this the starting point of a is matching with the tail of b whereas in this case the starting point of b is now matching with the tail of a that is the difference right if you ask me assume that this train is not moving in an ideal situation both the trains would be moving but this is like this train is coming all the way here and it is ending up like this this is train a right so this is what they mean by a cross a train b or something like this or we might also see things like this is train a and train b both are traveling towards each other or in the opposite directions so this is the initial situation the final situation would look like b would be here and a would be here the same thing the tail of b and the tail of a are on the same level it has they both are traveling in the opposite direction if you see in this the starting point of b is matching with the tail of a this is what we generally look at when we talk about trains crossing each other if they are traveling in the same direction or in the opposite direction the situations will look like this now let's talk about deriving a simple formula to solve you know all the problems related to the trains as we've discussed earlier there are two scenarios that we should be aware of a trains moving in the same direction or trains moving in the opposite direction so let's discuss one case first and then we'll come to the next one so the initial case would be there is train b we assume that to be a slower train and there is train a which is a faster train both of them are moving in the same direction you see the tail is matching with the starting point of a after some time right i assume b would have come here because it is also moving at some speed a would be traveling and it would be here and this is the final situation 
right? The parameters, I mean, <coughs> the variables that we need to know are the length of train A, the speed of train A, the length of train B, speed of train B. So, let us derive this formula. The question would be, how much time did it take, does it take for the train A to cross train B? Right? Time taken to cross. So, to find the time, we know these parameters, the lengths, assume that we know this, we will derive a formula with these uh, terms. So, train B, how much distance would it have travelled from here to here, right, I have just matched the starting point to the starting point of B. Let us assume this to be D distance covered by B would be speed of train B into the time, let us assume the answer to the time taken to cross is T. So, that is the time B would have travelled, right. So, B would have travelled from, I am just talking of the starting point. So, obviously, if I focus on the tail, the tail would move from here to here in the same time. So, let us focus on the starting point. So, this distance D is basically the speed of train B into the time taken to cross is variable T. So, I am finding this, this is the one equation. What about the train A? Train A is basically focused on the starting point and let us see this is the end point. This is the entire distance that train A has to travel. I can break this into three parts. See this, this distance is same as this, so this has to be D. What is this distance? Is the length of train A and what is this distance? This is basically length of train B. So, the total distance covered by A in the same time is basically length of B plus the D plus length of A, which is equal to basically speed of train A into time taken to cross. I know D is SB into T, right, I can solve, use the equation 1 and substitute it here. So, LB plus LA plus SB into T, that is for D, I am substituting this from the first equation. S A into T. So, let me send this to this side. It will give me L B plus L A is equals to S A minus S B into T. So, finally, the time taken would come as L B plus L A by S A minus S B. Right. Very similar situation in this case. A is here and B is here, both of them are moving in the same direction. Let us assume that I know the same parameters. So, time taken to cross is T. So, what is the final situation? It would look like this. B would be somewhere here and A would be here, right. So, let me draw this maybe make it clear. So, A and B are like this. So, A should move and come like this and B should move and become like this, right. So, again same what distance did B move? From here the starting point it came here. So, this is basically D, right. So, D is L B, sorry, is B speed of train B into time T, this first equation I have derived. So, now let me figure out how much distance A would have travelled. A starting from here went till this distance, right. So, here this distance is basically, let me just maybe use a different colour. This distance is matching with this, that is the length of train A. So, this is LA. This is clear. Now, I need to find out this distance, right, which is not pretty clear for me. What I know is this. This distance is this one, that is LB. But I do not need, need the entire length of B, right. I only need this part. How do I get that? by subtracting this part, see this part, 
me let me get to this part right so this entire part is lb and i need only this part so i just need to subtract this part which is d so basically distance covered by a is la this part plus lb that is this entire part i need to subtract this part which is d is equal to sa into t right so that is equation number 2 so we can solve both the equations and let's put d is equals to sb into t into the second equation it will turn out to be la plus lb is equals to sa into t plus d because d goes from here to here that i can put it to sb into t that makes it la plus lb is equals to sa plus sb into t finally you're going to get t is equals to la plus lb by sa plus sb right so if you see this the formula pretty much looks the same the time taken to cross would be sum of the lengths of the trains by it's just sum of the speeds are difference of the speeds the faster minus slower are faster plus slower depending on how the trains are moving the same direction are they moving the opposite direction so we can also look at the same thing and derive the formula using concept of relative speed which is much easier to derive if you understand this better if you have not watched our earlier video on the relative speed we strongly recommend to watch that and get that concept clear so that it will help you to solve the problems in much faster and efficient manner in time speed and distance so this is train 1 this is train 2 a and b both of them are moving the same direction so in the relative speed scenario what do we do we assume the slower train to be sitting idle so i assume this train is not moving so it's as simple as it the train b is what is the speed of the train a that's a faster train right that's why i made that train to be moving the slower train is train b is made to sit idle this would be because both of them are moving the same direction the net relative speed of a would be S A minus S B. Both of them are moving the same direction, so I have to subtract. So A A B is sitting idle here, so it's assumed that A would start from here, go all the way, and come here. So what is the distance covered by A? A has covered this entire distance in the time taken to cross, which is basically this is the length of train A, this part, and this part is length of train B, right? so the entire distance would be la plus lb is the distance covered so what is the time taken to cross distance by the relative speed right similarly for the trains moving the opposite direction this would be the initial situation with both the trains traveling in the opposite direction again the slower train train b is assumed to be idle so what will i look at train a will move from here and will come here right this is the entire distance that train a has traveled which is again this part is la and this part is lb the total distance is lb plus la what is the relative speed of this faster train sa plus sb why because both of them are moving in the opposite directions so the time taken to cross would be distance by relative speeds see the formulas are pretty much the same if you see them so it just depends on how you are comfortable with what you are comfortable with 
very important thing that you need to remember is this two set of formulas. I fundamentally you just need to remember this. The time taken to cross will be sum of lengths by the relative speed or you know net speed which is calculated by adding or subtracting depending on if the trains are moving the same direction or in the opposite direction. Once you know this formula, everything else that could be asked on the trains on you know trains with some lengths, you can derive or actually use this formula and put the right things at the right places to make them work for you. Like this single formula is good enough for you to solve many varieties of problems on the trains with the lengths being given. So let's discuss those types. The first type you see is this, there's a moving train, there's only one train and it's crossing a point. When I say point, it's question would talk about a pole or there could be a man, a right, cyclist, something. Basically, this entity does not have any length. We take it as a point object. So it is like this, there's a train and this is the point object. This is the initial situation. Final situation would be this train will travel and come like this. The tail, now the starting point is matching with this point. After some distance being covered by the train, the tail would match with the, the tail will match with this point. That's basically crossing a stationary point. You see the clue being given as a pole, man, which is not moving. So point is one. And the stationary means it's not moving, it's sitting there itself. If you remember the formula would be time taken to cross is sum of lengths by the speed being SA plus SB or SA minus SP depending on the direction of both the entities. If you see this, what is the second entity? This is the second entity. What is the speed? Zero because it's not moving. What is the length of the second entity? Zero because it's just a point. Just put them back here. The time would be LA plus 0, doesn't matter because B is 0, is, is it SA plus SB or SA minus SB, I'll get only SA. So that's basically length of train by speed of train. What did they, they asking me, for example, look at this question, a train is traveling at 30 meters per second, that's the speed, and it crossed a pole in 10 seconds. What is the length of the train? They gave me this, the formula would finally turn out to be this, for this situation. They gave me time and they gave me speed and asked me to find this. Now you can just look at the question and put the right values to get it. But most importantly, realizing, okay, what is this? What is the second entity's length? What is the speed of first the train and the second entity? And which direction are they moving? Right, plus or minus. That is what you need to just apply and get the answer. So I see this question. I look at this basic formula. Right, this is 0, this is 0. So basically 10 seconds is the time taken, length of train is not known, the speed is 30. So the length of train is 300 meters. That is how I will solve this question. The second type is a moving train crossing a moving point. Like a man running or a cyclist cycling, a man moving on a scooter or some other thing, whatever, there will be some speed. So it is like this. There's a point which is also moving. Let's assume both of them are moving in the same direction. After some distance point has come here, the train should come this way. It has traveled all the way such that the starting point and the point was matching. Now the tail of the train and the point is matching, but both of them are moving. Are they moving in the same direction or the opposite direction depending on which you have to use this formula? Right, time is LA plus LB plus SA, plus or minus depending on the directions of both the entities. I know this is a point, it's like a man, so this will become 0. So the formula would turn out to be LA by SA plus or minus SP. Depending on the speed and the direction in which I have to, you know, put those values. Let's look at this example. There's a train traveling at 30 meters per second. So speed of train is 30 meters per second. And there's a man, that's a point object, running towards the train at 10 meters per second. So he is running towards the train, right? Both of them are moving in this direction in this case. So I should be actually using SA plus SP because both of them are moving in the opposite directions. And the length of train is something that I don't know, I have to find. And the length of B is obviously zero because it's a point object that's man. And they said it is being crossed in 10 seconds. 
so la by 30 plus 10 is 10 seconds so the length of train is 40 into 10 400 meters right it's super easy to solve these questions once you just you know use this formula and put the right values depending on the information given on the question there's only one formula that we're using nothing new nothing complicated it's super easy and super simple to solve these questions the third type is moving train crossing a stationary object with some length like they would say there's a platform or a bridge or something else with some of its own length see this this is the train a and this is the bridge so the bridge will not move right the length of bridge would be given or maybe asked to find but the speed of the entity would be zero that's why it's a stationary object but it has some length there is some length for this if you remember the earlier cases we were talking about the pointed objects and right? that's the difference so the formula would be time is equals to la plus lb by sa plus r minus sb depending on the direction because i know the second entity is going to not move is not going to move the final formula would be la plus lb by speed of the train simple let's look at this example a train traveling at 30 meters per second the speed of train is given to be 30 a platform length that's lb is 100 meters i don't know the length of the train i need to find that and it crosses in 10 seconds so la plus 100 by 30 so 300 is equals to la plus 100 so la would be 200 meters that would be the length of the train right that's how you can solve this question the last type would be a moving train crossing a moving object of considerable length so it's like two trains so there is an object of considerable length that's b and it is also moving is it moving this direction and this direction that depends on the question it's not just one entity that is moving the second entity is also moving and it also has some length considerable length it's not a point object so that means i would have la i would have lb i would have sa and i would have sp i need to fill out the right things should it be plus or minus depending on the directions and solve the question so there's a 200 meter long train so the length of first train is 200 meters traveling at the speed of 30 meters per second is crossing another train traveling in the same direction at 40 meters per second i don't know the length of the second train and it took 60 seconds to cross so what is the length of the second train so they both are moving in the same direction so the formula would be la plus lb the sum of length of trains sa minus sp one thing you need to realize though i have written it as la lb here and SA, lb and sb like this don't do 30 minus 40 it's always the faster train minus the slower train right you should not get a negative value because you won't have time in negative if i have just put these values as it is i'll put 30 minus 40 which is going to give me minus 10 by 200 plus lb which is all gonna mess up the problem right this is wrong so just make sure keep this in mind that whenever i write sa minus sb the faster train should be here so technically i should have written like this sb is 30 lb is 200 la is not known and sa the speed of train is 40 meters per second in that case it would turn out to be la plus 200 by 40 minus 30 is equals to that 60 seconds that's given so la plus 200 40 minus 30 is 10 10 into 60 is 600 so la would be 600 minus 200 that is 400 meters if i do go ahead and solve in this way i would get the answer to be is equals to 60 minus 600 200 plus lb lb would come as minus 800 which is not right i can't have a negative length some people might ignore the negative signs completely and take the answer as 800 meters that's why i'm warning you keep in mind that sa minus sb whenever i'm applying this the faster train is a and the slower train is b so take those values accordingly and solve them do not do the slower minus faster at any point of time and these are the varieties of the problems that could get asked so let's just solve some problems to just give you a hint on this concept but fundamentally all you need to remember is this formula the sum of lengths of the trains are the objects 
and the speeds relative speed depending on the moment right which becomes zero which becomes plus minus all of this is something that you just have to read the question and put it in the right way to solve the question so there are two trains running on the parallel lines in the same direction. So this is like I have two objects with considerable length and both of them also move at some speed. So I have SA, I have length, I have speed B and length B. 20 and 10, so I'll take the faster and the slower. The faster train crosses a dog in the second train 40 seconds. Oh sorry, this is not uh, both the trains with considerable length. If you read this, since the fastest train crosses a dog in the second train in 40 seconds. So this is basically like an object, point object. But the point object is moving because it's sitting on the train. Getting this? Even though the question is a bit confusing stating there are two trains running on the parallel lines in the same direction. It is like, you know, both the trains are going in this direction. But actually the faster train crosses a dog in the second train in 40 seconds is basically like giving a clue that it is talking about a point object which is moving right so the situation should be like this the dog is a point object moving at a speed of 10 with the length 0 the speed of the train is 20 and the length of the train is unknown I need to find that the time taken to cross is 40 seconds is length of train by 20 minus 10 because both of them are moving in the same direction. So that will be LA is equals to 20 minus 10 is 10 into 40 is 400 meters. Right? Though the question is talking about two trains, actually the train, faster train is not crossing the entire second train. It's only talking, mentioning about a pointed object which is in the train. So it is like basically, actually the starting point, would be, if, let's assume the dog is sitting here. So the train is start, the starting point of the train, the faster train is matching with the dog. And finally, it should be ending with the tail matching with the dog. But here, because the dog is sitting in the train, the dog is also moving. After some time, the dog will be here because the train would have moved. So that's why it will turn out to be this case. And we'll just solve it using this formula. There are 200 meters long trains which travel on the parallel lines. When they are going in the same direction, the faster train takes 120 seconds to pass the other train completely. If they are going in the opposite directions, they cross each other completely in 30 seconds. So there is the length of train A is 100. Let's assume this to be the faster train. SA is not known to me. The length of train B is also 100 and SB is not known to me. When they both are moving in the same direction, the time taken is 120 seconds. That is basically LA plus LB by SA minus SB. So LA plus LB is 200 meters by 120. I'm just swapping this is SA minus SB. So SA minus SB would turn out to be 4345. That will come out to be 5.3. It's 1.66. Let me leave this here. The opposite direction information says they will take 30 seconds to cross each other. So the time is 30 seconds. The same formula LA plus LB. I just need to do SA plus SB because they are both moving in the opposite direction. So SA plus SB will be 200 by 30. That is 20 by 3. That's equation 2. So I have two equations. I just need to solve them. Right, so it will be if I add both, I'll get 2SA is equals to 25 by 3. So SA will be 25 by 6. If I substitute back here, SB would be 25 by 6 minus 5 by 3. That's 15 by 6. Right, so this is the slower train speed 15 by 6 meters per second so though the numbers have not turned out to be easier but just keep this in mind so same direction i will get a linear equation sa minus sb the opposite direction i'll get sa plus sb so i'll have two equations i can solve and get the answers for both the speeds so thank you for watching this video if you're watching this video in the youtube channel do check out our full length course available for free at gtcube.com store where you'll get to watch these videos as part of the course and also get to practice hundreds of questions on these concepts.
and we are giving it for free. Also like our partner Facebook page, facebook.com slash gtcube3. Uh, all the updates that we are going to provide with the new courses and the content that will be coming up that would help you to prepare for your exams would be shared in this page through our partner. So do like that. Thank you for watching this video and let's meet in the next video.